Welcome to the channel everyone, this is Chad of Chapman Cars and Tech. And today, in this video, I want to show you how to better secure your Windows computer. And what I want to talk about today is adding an administrator account so that you can prevent other users of your computer from installing and making system changes without your permission. This is very useful if you have children and you don't want them to be installing things you don't want on the computer in the first place. So let's get to it. So there are two ways to do this. There is a way for when you're using a Windows 10 Home Edition or some other lower level version of the operating system that isn't professional or above. So let's start by open up the start menu, click on settings, and then you need to type in users and click on the first item, so add, edit, or remove other users. It's kind of where my camera's over there and I'm looking at the screen. So, I have my primary account as administrator. So you need to have your primary account as administrator in order to do this. And then you can disable the administrator's privileges for your account later on. So what you got to do is add someone else to this PC and then Microsoft is going to try to help you and ask you if you want to add a online account. We don't want to, to do this. So I do not have this person's sign in information is what you click. And then it will go to the next prompt, create an account. So what we're going to do is add a user without a Microsoft account. So click on that link. And who's going to be using this PC? This is going to be your account name. So let's assume the uh, uh, use case of this is a family PC. So let's call it family admin. And then I'm just going to type in some password. Um, make sure yours is actual secu actually secure. So. And for this method, you're going to have to add some uh, security questions or answer some security questions. So that's the only way to get through the screen. So let's see here. Pet's first name. Pet seems like a good name for a pet. City. Let's call it city. Also, when you're creating... Um, um, answers for these type of questions. They'll make something that's obvious and then save those questions somewhere else written down, I guess, so you can uh, find them later on. Maybe on a, on a, on a, in a text file that's back, back up to the cloud so you can like exit, uh, access it from any of your devices. So, childhood nickname. Nickname. Then click on next. So now, you have a family admin account and now it's set as local account so you can change the account type and create it as or set it as administrator so now what you gotta do is you log out of your current account so this is this is my primary admin account. Uh, let's see here. Sign out. And then select an account that you just created. Press enter. And then it's going to do this the whole setup thing. So we'll be back after everything is finished. So Windows has logged into the newly created family admin account. So we're going to same, use the same path that we use for non-professional above Windows uh, versions of the OS. So 
you can type in users here or click on the start menu and search through settings. So users. And then click on your account that you are logged into or other accounts and then change account type and select standard user. So in the next part of this video, I want to show you how to do this using uh, more advanced tools. Now I'm going to show you how to add a admin user if you're using Windows 10 Professional or better. So click in the search bar here and type in computer management. And the computer management window shows up. So over here on the left panel, click on local users and groups, select users, and over here you got some choices. So you can use the built-in administrator account. So click on properties and then uncheck account is disabled. So what happens here is when you log out of your computer, you're going to see this account actually one of the options for when you select a user. And also when you want to install something on your computer, it will have that UA screen that pops up, but now you have to tell it to use the admin user and the password associated with this account. And you can do some other things. You can actually, I think you can set the password, I'm not sure. You can also do things like user must change a password login if if, if this is, is available, user cannot change password and other stuff like that. So I want to cancel out of this here because we want to create an account with an actual password. So just right click, new user, um, and then we'll use the same name. Uh, and now you can set the password and then we don't need to, because we're creating this for our own purposes, we don't need to uh, make the user change password at next login. We know we're the only ones going to be using this account, so create the account. And then close. So now you have your new administrator account. So right click on it, select properties, and member of. So now you have to add it to the administrator's group. So in order to add this new account to the administrator's group, you have to click on add on this member of tab and then type in administrators with an S. Check names, it checks out, click OK. Now you have a new account as part of the administrators group. So click on apply, OK. And then we'll close this out. Go to uh, your name here, sign out. Click on the new account, type in the password you just created. And then we do the whole same thing again. Actually, it didn't take a lot, as long as I thought I was going to, and when I stopped the video before, it was actually just a couple of seconds between I clicked on stop recording and start recording. So uh, let's have some things settle out real quick on this first time boot. So type in computer management.
local users and groups users and now you do the same thing kind of as before but you select your regular accounts and right click it properties member of administrators and then remove so the difference between this method and the one for anything lower than Windows Pro is when you set the user before the account type it does that before you just do a menu click and it's very easy here you gotta manually do that so click on apply okay and now you have a more secure local account that you can use on a daily basis so that's it for this video if you liked what you've seen please like comment subscribe check out the rest of the channel and we'll see you next time